Hello, this is Annie Yang. Today is March 7, 2013, and we are at the Oakland University Art Gallery, where the roving eye, the art, and the contemporary portrait. Now, um, this is a really um, exciting, exciting exhibit. I've learned a lot from it. You know, I'll probably use some of the ideas that I've seen here. Now, this is an artist called. David Shirley. Here says, I don't want to dance, but I am made to dance. Think about that. Really mind blowing. Looking around. Isn't that just creepy looking? It's really super weird. Seems sounds like an interesting guy. Okay, now this is a guy called. Michael Bormans, and this is like the perfect, the perfect portrait, you know, it's, um, it's oil on canvas, and, you know, uses all of these perfect tones, it's just my idea of, like, perfect portrait ever, it's, it's just great, and then, Looks like sets of twins. Um, it's by Teresa um, Bakova, and it doesn't actually say if these. It's a series of twins, but that's just what it looks like. It could be the same person in all of these photos, for all we know. And over here, by Matthew Watson, um, it's a portrait of a lap dog. Just a regular old portrait. And over here, by Charlotte Dumas, she took a picture of um, a safety rescue dog from 9-11. Isn't that a good idea? I really like that idea. And would you believe that this is a photo? It's it's beautiful. It it just doesn't even look like a photo. It looks like a painting of some sort. Um by Loretta Lux. It uh, looks like it's a Alpha Chrome Prince. Whatever that is. And over here by Noah Becker. I really like um this person's style. Beautiful. And this really looks like the the Thai actor and singer we got. I think it's just singer, but it looks just like him. And over here is a series of photos. This is called the maroon suit. This is called the black hat. This is called Lynn Yeager, and it's all by Scott Schumann, the tattoo artist. Very interesting. I like photos of urban people. And this is Anne Duong, um, Laos Point, 2010. And I ar am really a fan of this painting. It's very big. Nice, right? I I just am am in love with the light and the shadows in this and especially um with the skin tones. You know, I'm I'm wondering if it's a self portrait or maybe it's of someone else. You know, um this is really inspiring to me because I would like to do something like this. You know, this is like my style of art, you know. Um, a lady on a chair with flowers. This is a really nice one. And um a, a guy with a striped shirt. I really like this person's style. Um Lynette Yadom Boki. Um this is oil on canvas. I really appreciate the size of these two paintings. You know, I'd I I would really like to work big just like these. You know, that would be a dream. And over here 
is Nicole Wittenberg. Now this, I really don't understand this. It, it looks like the simplest thing ever. It looks like, you know, I could just make this up in like a day, you know. You know, but that's probably like the controversy of this piece of art, so whatever. And if you look closely, um, you could see the texture in this, you know, which um, a viewer can really appreciate. And I enjoy the contrast of the yellow and the white because they're both really high and bright colors. That's one's interesting one. And this is by David Shirley, you know, back from over there when this video first started. And it's of this guy sleeping for eight minutes, you know, and you can just see his um, chest slightly moving and his mouth, you know, opening, you know, and you can see how his mouth is, you know, kind of opens in a smile. I just noticed that right now. <laughs> and these are interesting ones. You know, this artist makes makes this guy looks like he's a piece of meat. It's kind of gross, actually. It's really gross. You know, I don't know what to think of this. You know, it's something that looks kind of gross too. It's by Jeff Burton. Interesting and gross. I am, I'm, I really like this one, you know, I really draw inspiration from this, you know, I'm a big fan of using clumps of paint whenever um, I mix my paints, my acrylic paint, I always save the clumps, you know, so I like to fantasize about what I can do with these clumps, and then this gives me ideas. This is by Kent Dorn, um, this is called The Fugitive Blue with Cigarette. And then over here is called the Reckoner. This is just amazing. Like, you know, it's this guy made of paint clumps sitting on a horse, and he has a skull for a head, and you know he has like this torch, and there it says no parking in the background, and it's at night. And it's it's just amazing. You know, I really appreciate this painting, and you know I would really like to do something like it. And over here um, it's by Andrew Gunther. It's called The Will to Change Things. And I really appreciate the the use of wooden sticks to hang um garbage and other objects on here. And I like the use of sunglasses for eyes. You know, that's really, that's really uh, creative. And I like, it It looks like a zebra, zebra stripes, and, and zebra, zebra and tiger. And, you know, you could see, you could see the, the texture, the texture on here. You know, um, i sure what that is. I think it's, some sort of some sort of a uh, acrylic you know um i think it, it looks it looks a lot like glue but then i don't really see glue in this list of media think about that using glue for your art projects and over here is um some photos about uh, some United States people in the United States, you know, in in the back country. I really like this one. You know, it it seems to tell a lot. It seems to tell a story, and I can't really tell if the person is male or female. So that's interesting. Same with you. You know, it's likely to be an old man, but you can't really tell. This one's a really interesting one. Um, you can't really see it from here. 
But this lady, she has like a scar on her face, on her nose and her forehead. And you just want to wonder like what happened to her. You know, was she um, under some sort of abuse? Was she attacked? by a dog, and then, you know, it just, this piece just embodies a lot of mystery. It's by Pierre and Gonard, it's called Constantina, and over here, you know, when you look at this, it's like, you know, how can this even be a portrait? You know, a lot in here doesn't really seem to be a portrait, but it's very interesting. It looks very tribal. Tribal things are cool. It's by Andrew Gunther again. It's called Plate Face. And over here, um, by Andrew Bush. It's a chromogenic print. It's of this lady in a blue car. It's really interesting. I like the quality of it. You know. Very nice, very nice quality. I like the size, and this is by Rosemary Lang. Um, it's called A Dozen Useless Ashes for Green Lawns 1 and 2. And this is very, very interesting. You know, it is like the most high definition um, photograph I've ever seen. It's, um, you know, it's better than a real life almost. It's amazing. And last, finally, is this video by David Shirley. It's one minute. Unfortunately, I didn't catch it for when it starts, but we could just see it. It's called New Friends. So in these uh, marching squares, and they're just, you know, marching in this crowd, this line. You know, their faces are blank, and, you know, there's this hole up ahead, and then, you know, one of the squares falls, and he falls down this tunnel, and he's screaming, and he's screaming, and he's just turning around and around, and he falls down, and he just falls down his feet, and he starts walking, and, you know, he just starts walking and walking, and, they, oh, there's these circles just parting around. It's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, let's have fun. Woo! And he's just dancing and showing off his stuff. Just showing his stuff his stuff. And then, you know, they lift him up on top. And then, you know, he's like, you know, being crowd surfed. And he's like, oh my gosh, what is that? And then, you know, the circles just start grinding him. And, he's, and they're changing him. And then, you know, what happened to his body? Man, now he's one of them. You know, it's very interesting. You know, mind-blowing. So that's everything in the exhibit.